Well, UK took care of business Tuesday night at Rupp Arena against Vanderbilt. The late tip and late finish may have been too much for some Sound Blue fans to stay up for and bear, but our Brian Kennedy was there for it all. History repeated itself multiple times right here at Rupp Arena on Tuesday night. First, a Wildcat player scored 30 points or more for the second game in a row. Also, the Wildcats came back from a double-digit deficit to win the game for the second game in a row. And for the second time this season, a Vanderbilt player misses crucial free throws down the stretch that helps the Cats to a victory. First, here's Coach Bryce Drew on those missed free throws, as well as Coach Kenny Payne and a couple players on the victory. You know, Riley's won games for us, and, you know, it wasn't just him. Again, we had an open three. We had an open 17-footer. We had a one-and-one. One, we split a pair, and then we made a foul, you know, 65 feet from the basket with two seconds on the clock. So if one of those plays go our way, you know, this is a different conversation we're having up here. I don't know how many, exactly how many seconds was on that clock when he got the layup, but how about his poise? There's a lot of other things that he could have done. Um, and he had the poise to drive that ball to the basket and uh, roll the ball over somebody's head and lay it in the basket. I mean, that shows his maturity as a player and made a big play. I just seen the opening layup. I seen a big man at the top of the key, so he wasn't guarding the rim. We keep fighting. We some fighters. I'm saying we keep we keep pushing and keep we never lose. We trying to win. They got after they missed the free throw, they just laid off and tried to. They didn't think he would get there in time or, or whatever it was, but. He made a great play. We won the game off of it. Next up for the Cats, they travel to Missouri to take on the Tigers on Saturday. From Rep Arena, I'm Brian Kennedy, ABC 36 Sports.